Uh, hello, hi folks. Uh, thank you for uh, thanks for the new 4G team uh, for inviting me. Uh, firstly, uh, to uh, not uh, 2022 event. Uh, today, I'm going to talk uh, about the basic cognition uh, with graphs and uh, neo 4 j and uh, let me introduce myself first uh, this is shifik and i have been working as a software engineer uh, since 2010 and currently i'm working in uh, working at robos we are a telecommunication company in london uh, and i'm going to explain what we are doing uh, with neo 4 j in morbos but before that, I have a personal blog, cefix.com, uh, and you can also find me on uh, Twitter and uh, YouTube uh, with these uh, names. As I mentioned, I'm uh, currently working at Warboss, and we might be the company uh, using Neo4G uh, the most uh, all around to London uh, because our system engineering team uh, is building event-driven uh, and cloud-native software to solve the real-world problems uh, we encounter while uh, laying over 500 kilometers of uh, fiber cable uh, in London. And we all rely on Neo4j to model and uh, maintain our digital twin. Uh, and today I'm going to talk about the combination of deep face and Neo4j and deep face is the uh, currently most popular facial recognition library for Python. Currently it has more, it has almost 5k stars on GitHub, also uh, more than uh, 1000 forks. Meanwhile, it's published on both PyPy and Conda and its installation count is more than 700k. Uh, and finally, uh, its background uh, depends on uh, out of academic stuff. That's why uh, currently it has been cited more than uh, 100 plus uh, academic papers. Uh, and in deep phase, uh, we are wrapping uh, state of the art and cutting edge facial recognition models. And uh, those models uh, you are seeing that score on the labeled face in the wild data set. Uh, it's, uh, many of the models uh, already reached and passed the human level accuracy because uh, as you can see, human beings uh, just have 97.5% uh, uh, accuracy on this data set for verifi ver uh, verifying uh, face pairs. On the other hand, uh, for example, DLIP, FaceNet, uh, these models uh, past human level accuracy. Meanwhile, art face uh, and uh, face net with 128 dimensions uh, reach its accuracy. Also, S face and VGG face, those models uh, came close to the human level accuracy. Uh, and uh, you can uh, verify face pairs just a single line of code uh, with deep face. As you can see, uh, after you import the library, you can call it verify function and all you need to pass a uh, face pair and exact image uh, paths uh, to this function. Also, you can mention the model name and uh, there are uh, more than uh, eight uh, models wrapped in deep face. But if you haven't uh, mentioned anything then it's going to verify faces with VGG face model. And you can see the result of verify function on the right, uh, we just focus on the verified key, and in this case, it returns true. Uh, in other words, uh, this means that uh, this face pair uh, is coming from same person. Uh, and deeply, you can check its distance value between faces, uh, and this uh, value should be less than the maximum threshold value uh, to be same person. Also, the uh, used model and similarity metric is mentioned in the response. But uh, even though at past human level accuracy, sometimes it has some false positives and false negatives. For example, uh, the first example uh, is a false positive, uh, even though they are uh, coming from different uh, persons, the face uh, verifies it. In other words, it says that they are same person. 
On the other hand, in the second example, uh, DeepFace cannot verify the face pairs of Jack Dorsey. Uh, this is false negative case. Uh, and uh, we are going to decrease the number of false positives and false negatives with Neo4j in the stock. But before that, let's focus on how uh, the face is working. Uh, in the background, it basically represents uh, facial images as vectors. And remember vectors in the physics, uh, it has to uh, have a direction and quantity. Uh, and we are going to find the similarity between vectors. Uh, we can use the angle between these vectors or the distance. Uh, or Euclidean distance uh, between vectors uh, to understand how similar they are. And uh, instead of using verify function, deep face has a out of the box represent function as well. And this function returns a uh, multi-dimensional vector, uh, but it's basically a list in Python or an array object. For example, in this example, after importing the deep face library, I call the represent function and pass the exec image path. And it returns embedding. Uh, what's embedding? The next line, I regulate its uh, type and its list and its size is 2622. It's a list with that size. We can visualize the uh, output uh, vector as shown above. Uh, but basically, uh, deep face represent facial images as vectors in the background. Thereafter, it verifies uh, them. Same person, if the uh, distance between those vectors are less than a threshold value. Uh, here, uh, it's a, a long uh, code snippet, but uh, let's focus on it. I first import deep face and new 4G libraries. Thereafter, I create the facial database, and it, uh, in this case, consists of three different images. Thereafter, I connect uh, my local uh, new 4G database. Uh, thereafter, I uh, use a driver to create station and uh, begin the transaction. Thereafter, I built a for loop over my uh, facial database, and. Uh, for each item in my database, uh, I uh, find the vector embeddings in the embedding object. Thereafter, in the statement object, I create a uh, cipher query. And here, I'm going to create a, a face node uh, with uh, name and embedding properties. Uh, name and embed, uh, name property of the face node is going to be image1.jpg, image2.jpg, and image3.jpg uh, for each iteration. And embedding uh, is going to come from the uh, result of the represent function. Thereafter, I'm going to store those face nodes with name and embedding properties in the Neo4j. And this is the result of uh, that code snippet. Uh, I used the uh, unit test items of the face uh, library. You can find uh, all of those 61 uh, facial images. And you can see they're all independent and they are not connected to each other. I have just 61 nodes in this case. And in the right, you can see I have name and embedding properties. Name is coming from the name of the facial image. Uh, in this case, that's image one. And embedding is coming from the result of the deep face represent function. That's a, a list. Actually, it's a multi dimensional vector. But in this case, I used uh, FaceNet as a model, uh, and FaceNet uh, generates uh, 128 dimensional vectors. In other words, embedding uh, list in this example uh, has 128 items. Thereafter, I'm going to connect nodes if they are uh, same person uh, uh, based on the decision of the face. I firstly uh, retrieve uh, each face uh, pair uh, as P1 and P2 in the Neo4j site. By the way, I'm going to run this uh, statement in Neo4j site directly. And as a, in the var condition, I just expect uh, this 
uh, face pair should be different. Uh, I mean that I should not compare image one and image one. Uh, they should be different. Thereafter, in the fourth line, I'm going to find the Euclidean distance uh, in the graph data science model of Neo4j. It's the out of the box function. And I already stored the embeddings uh, in the uh, embedding object in the Neo4j. That's why I'm going to use the p1.embedding and p2.embedding. And this is going to return the distance between uh, these two vectors. And uh, thereafter, I'm going to check the distance value, uh, Euclidean distance value is less than the value of 10. Why 10? I'm going to mention it, but uh, this, uh, to long story short, uh, this is pre-tuned uh, threshold value for FaceNet model and Euclidean distance. If I'm going to use uh, another method, for example, uh, Cosine similarity, this threshold should be different. If I'm going to use another uh, facial recognition model, uh, such as VGG face, this threshold should be different. Uh, when I find the uh, uh, distance values uh, less than this threshold value, I'm going to connect them via uh, distance edge and set the value of distance in the last line, uh, Euclidean distance value. When I run uh, this, statement in your 4 g site. Uh, by the way, uh, this slide mentions how uh, the value of 10 is found. If you pick the uh, same person pairs and different uh, person's pairs uh, to deep face, uh, thereafter you can see the uh, distance uh, distribution are concrete, uh, discrete graph. So you can find the uh, best point uh, for threshold value. In this case, for example, a uh, face net plus uh, Euclidean distance, uh, it should be 10. In that way, uh, this is pre-tuned in the face already. Uh, when I run this uh, statement in Neo4j site, uh, our graph is going to be like that. I have 61 nodes, and uh, some of them are connected to each other. Uh, and I see some clusters. A cluster means uh, a facial image, a, a, list of facial uh, images of a person uh, but before uh, i already reached and passed the human level accuracy uh, but i want to uh, detect some false positive and false uh, negatives uh, via neo4j uh, you can see uh, this cluster coming from the left and uh, down area uh, you can see image uh, 59 is connected to image 62, but image uh, 59 is not connected to image 16 or image uh, 61. Oh, if I uh, pass image 61 and image uh, 59 pair to deep face or image 16 and image 59 pair to deep face, then it's going to return. Uh, they are different persons, but they are uh, same person. This is the false negative. I can actually find uh, this false negative pattern uh, via Neo4j like that, because uh, image 59 is connected to image 16 via not uh, image 62. Similarly, image 59 is connected to image uh, 61 via image 62. This is a common pattern for false negatives in facial recognition studies. Similarly, uh, in the previous example, I used Euclidean distance uh, to connect nodes uh, for same person. Alternatively, I can use cosine similarity uh, to connect nodes. Uh, in this case, I just used one minus uh, cosine similarity value. And cosine uh, function is an auto box function in Neo4j. And in this case, threshold value is 0 0.4. And as I mentioned, this is coming from uh, pre-tuned weight, pre-tuned threshold uh, in deep face. You can find these threshold values for model and uh, distance value pairs. Thereafter, I'm going to create edge between nodes if the distance uh, values between that nodes are less than the threshold value. Thereafter, my graph uh, will be like that. And uh, here, uh, interestingly, I can uh, detect a false positive pattern. Uh, you can see a cluster on the right side. These are images of Leonardo DiCaprio and uh, another cluster 
uh, uh, in the left side, these are images of Matt Damon. And as you can see, image uh, 30 and image 35 are connected. Similarly, image uh, 29 and image 35, they are connected. But uh, if you ask uh, this to deep base, uh, it's going to say that image 30 and image 35, they are same person, but they are actually, uh, they are not the same person, they are different persons. We can detect the false positive pattern uh, via Neo4j because we see strongly connected uh, two clusters and they are uh, connected to each other weakly. This is the common pattern for false positive in facial recognition studies. So I can understand uh, the both uh, connections between uh, image 30 and 35 and also image 29 and uh, 35. Uh, are false, false positives. Uh, so uh, I mentioned how to use neophorgy and graphs uh, in facial recognition studies. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, existing facial recognition models uh, reached human level accuracy past also, but uh, they are coming with some false positive and false negatives. Unfortunately, none of the model uh, provide us 100 accuracy, 100 percent accuracy, but uh, Neo4j and graph approach uh, helped us to detect false positive and false negative cases. So in that way, we can increase the overall accuracy of our models. I thank you all for listening to my talk. Uh, you can uh, contact me via my personal blog, uh, again, civics.com, uh, and you can find me on Twitter. Meanwhile, I will be appreciate if you start the deep face repository. Uh, thank you all for listening. Uh, and that's my talk.